Hey there, Miss Bell here again in the science lab, and I'm wanting to talk to you about how we measure time in science or even in math. Um, we use what we call a stopwatch. It might look something like this, or this, or even something like this, but with these measurement devices, we're able to see how long something takes in minutes, seconds, even milliseconds. Like when we're doing a science investigation and we're having to see how long um, a car takes to run down a ramp from the start point to the end point. And we do that trial over and over and over and we need to measure time. We would use this type of measuring tool. Now if you look on this stopwatch in the middle, this orange one, um, you'll see that there's words on the top of the stopwatch. Over to the left with this button, it says split and reset. In the middle, it says mode. And on the right, underneath the button on the right, it says stop and start. Now if I click the button in the middle, it'll go to different settings like the time during the day or the stopwatch setting um, starting at zero and they'll have other different settings if you need to reset the date or if you need to reset the um, time during the day like you would a watch on your wrist um, but here when we work with stopwatches we need to always make sure that it starts at zero all the numbers are zero over here, we see a lot of zeros, but at the very end, there's a four and then a three. So that says zero hours, dot, dot, zero minutes, four seconds, and three milliseconds. But if I push the reset button on this stopwatch, it's the blue button, it's going to take me back to zero. And that's exactly where we need to be at if we're having to test the time of a certain experiment or a certain trial. Now I got a little closer look so that you guys can see better. I'm going to start with the timer on the left. Now when I'm about to start an experiment and I need to test the time, again, I'm going to start where, or I'm going to push the button that says start. And as you can see, the numbers on the right, the milliseconds are going super fast. They're counting all the way up, and I can't even count that fast. Over here, the numbers that are moving, that's the seconds, 15, 16, 17, 18. I can count those. And then once we get to 59 seconds, going to 60 seconds, it's going to jump over here into the minutes. Now I'm going to go to the orange stopwatch and I'm going to start that time. Okay, And then I'm going to jump over here to the red stopwatch and I'm going to push this start button right here. It's in the middle. Start. And as you can see, there's three different times going. Right here we're already to 51, 52 seconds. Right here we're to 21, 22 seconds. And over here we're to 15, 16, 17 seconds. Now if I need to pause or stop the time, I look to which button would say stop. And right here it says stop, so I'm gonna stop it. It stopped at one minute, 12 seconds, and 63 milliseconds. I'm going to stop it right here. It stopped at 0 minutes, 47 seconds, and 19 milliseconds. And over here, I'm going to push stop. 0 hours, 0 minutes, 46 seconds, and 93 milliseconds. Now, if we're doing another trial and we need to reset our stopwatches, we don't start right here unless that's the instructions. We're going to want to get back to that zero, 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 where everything starts at zero. So I'm going to find where it says reset, and I'm going to push that button, and that should take me back to zero. I'm going to find the reset button, 
and I'm going to push that and it should take me back to zero. And I'm going to find the reset button, this blue one, and it's going to take me back to zero. So then when I need to restart the times, I just push that start button. So we use stopwatches every now and then with our science investigations, whether we're measuring how long it takes for something to get from one temperature to a different temperature, if it's melting, or maybe if something is dissolving, maybe we put a piece of candy in really hot water and we see how long it takes for that candy to dissolve, we'll need a stopwatch to record those times. And this information that I just showed you will let you know how to get the time to start at zero, how to start your time, how to stop your time, and how to reset it to get back to all the zeros so you can try a different trial and get a new time. Hope this helps.